Star Wars Ahsoka, the series a lot of people have been waiting for with Rosario, Rosario Dawson playing the title character. It's a very popular character among Star Wars fans. I admit I've never really liked the Ahsoka character. I'll just be honest. I won't go into all the reasons why. But when Rosario Dawson came on screen and started playing her, actually started to really like the character. And I, you can count me among the people who was really excited for the very first season of Ahsoka. And now we actually have a release date for it. Now we've known for a little while it would be coming out sometime in August. They, they were kind of nebulous about that. And sometimes those dates hold, sometimes they do not. But now we've got an official actual date. And this comes to us from the folks over at Variety who wrote the following. The live action series Star Wars Ahsoka officially has a premiere date at Disney+. Plus. It was previously announced that the show would debut in August, but it is now confirmed it will premiere on August 23rd. Rosario Dawson stars in the series as Ahsoka Tano, whom the, who was first played in Season 2 of The Mandalorian and again in the book of Boba Fett. So, once again, August 23rd, by the way, is a Wednesday following the tradition of the Star Wars shows coming out on Wednesdays, which really means for those of us living in the California area, Tuesday night at midnight. So that's when these things are going to come out. Now, like I said, I am looking forward to this. I am a big fan of Rosario Dawson. I like the on-screen live-action interpretation of Ahsoka so far. Like her mannerisms, the action sequences that we got on the shows have been really quite good. The trailer... For Ahsoka's look great. And by the way, with this announcement of August 23rd, they've released a new little 30-second spot. That is mostly footage we saw in the previous trailer, but a few extra little glimpses. I love the fact that Mon Mothma is going to be back in this thing. I love this character. Love her in Andor. I've loved her in this thing the whole time. She's one of the best Star Wars characters, actually. But I'll tell you what. This is a show that Disney and Lucasfilm really need to hit. Because as we go over and look at the shows that Star Wars has put on Disney Plus so far, it is the very definition of hit or miss, and really a little bit more miss than hit. Take a look at this. Now, so <laughs> far, we've had six seasons of live action Star Wars on Disney Plus. The three seasons of Mandalorian, we've had the Book of Boba Fett, we had Obi Wan, and we had Andor. I would suggest that three of these were good, and three of them were not so good. Mandalorian Season 1 and 2, fantastic. Mandalorian Season 3, there seems to be a bit of a consensus, was a bit of a letdown. Book of Boba Fett was just terrible. Had a strong start, but just terrible. Obi-Wan, not so great. Again, strong start, even to a degree, a pretty strong ending, but it, was, it missed out on its potential, and at the end of the day, I found it to be pretty disappointing. Then we've had what I think is the best Star Wars we've had in ages, which was the first season of Andor. So, yeah, out of these three seasons, three have been good, three not so good to varying degrees. Ahsoka is now going to come along and break that tie. Will it be breaking the tie in the way of not so good or good? And, and by the way, I'm so looking forward to seeing this guy on screen. This is going to be great. And, and probably the last time we'll get to see him uh, holding a lightsaber and a Star Wars thing is as he's recently passed away. But... I mean, this is going to kind of, I think, set a lot of direction for how the Star Wars TV universe is going to go because Ahsoka is going to come out. It's either going to lean things favorably or not so favorably. Is that Elon Musk? Or we're looking yes, at right the now? Elon Musk yes. is actually the villain mm -hmm. of, <laughs> of this thing. No, of course, Grand Admiral Thrawn making his entrance. And of course, for those who are familiar with the old books, when Ahsoka says, as heir to the Empire, all of us who know the books are like, ooh, she said the thing about the thing. And we all got really excited about that. So very, very excited to see this. Today's episode of The John Campy Show is brought to you by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Guys, more and more, we enjoy shopping online, whether it's on our phones or our computers. And how many times have you gotten to the checkout and seen that promo code box and thought, man, if I only had a promo code, I could save some money. Well, thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. So here's the situation. You're shopping online on one of your favorite sites. And when you go to checkout, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Then just wait a few few seconds as Honey works its magic and searches for coupons it can find for that site that you're on. And if Honey finds working coupon, 
just watch the price drop. Recently, Ann and I were hanging out at home one evening and we decided to order in and the honey button appeared. I was able to apply a coupon and I actually saved like six or seven bucks. It was that easy to use. And Honey doesn't just work on your desktop computer, it also works on your iPhone. Just activate it on Safari, on your phone, and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash campia. That's joinhoney.com slash campia. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? We now have a release date just a couple of months away. August 23rd is going to be the new release for Ahsoka. Are you excited about it? Have you been pretty much happy with the live action Star Wars we've gotten on Disney Plus so far? Have you been generally unhappy? Are you like me where it's kind of split down the middle? Do you think Ahsoka can break the tie one way or the other? Whatever you guys think about this, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. Listen, if you like our content, make sure you check out our daily podcast, the John Campia Show podcast, available on Apple, Spotify, and your favorite podcasting app of choice.